In today's video, I'm going to share with you how you can very quickly and very easily boost your at-home LED red light therapy treatments and possibly even double the anti-aging benefits. Hello and welcome. My name is Cindy. If you're new to Beyond 50 Skin, really happy to have you. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you like videos on at-home skincare devices, I've created a playlist, so go check that out after you watch today's video. But today I'm going to show you how I've been boosting my at-home LED red light therapy treatment. This summer, a small but very impressive study was released demonstrating increased benefits when you apply green tea before you use your red light therapy. Now, I use red light therapy for its anti-aging and skin rejuvenation benefits. It's been demonstrated in studies to increase elastin and collagen, decrease redness and inflammation, and decrease melanin production. So I'm all about the skin rejuvenation benefits of it, but even more excited now that there is some proof behind the use of a green tea serum before you use your red light therapy. The one that was in the study is the Mysama Green Robo Serum, and I have actually been using this for a while, hoping that the theory would be borne out that this would increase the benefits of red light therapy, but it actually has shown to double the results. An independent laboratory performed a three-month split-face study with 16 female participants. They measured melanin production, wrinkle depth, elasticity, and inflammation. As you can see in these pictures, melanin is significantly reduced, wrinkle depth has decreased, elasticity has increased, and inflammation has decreased. Here's the recommended protocol for using the Masama Green Robos Tea before your LED red light therapy. I'm going to go through a quick demo. Feel free to take a screenshot so you can save it for reference. It's an extremely impressive little study, so I'm going to link it down below. It's absolutely amazing. You use one pump of a serum and you get about 126 pumps out of one bottle. So you really probably, if you do your red light therapy three to five times a week, you'll only need like two bottles a year, which is a really small costs and investment to double the effects of your red light therapy mask. So I place it on, I wait about 10 minutes, and then I apply my mask per the instructions. I've let this dry down for 10 minutes. I'm gonna use my current body mask. This is the one that I've been using for the last year. And most recently I have upped my game using it five times a week to get even better benefits along with the Green Robos Press Serum. So I'm off to do my LED treatment. This mask is super easy to use. It's only 10 minutes. I usually run around and do a few chores in the morning and make my coffee while I'm wearing this and then move on with the rest of my skincare. This video is not sponsored, but full disclosure, I did receive a bottle of the Green Robos Press Serum about two and a half years ago in PR, but I've continued to purchase the serum on my own with my own money and enjoy the benefits of using it alongside my Current Body Mask. The Current Body LED mask was gifted to me in PR by Current Body. My Selma Skincare has graciously reached out and is offering my followers a 10% discount that they can use any time of year. My Selma also has special event sales during Labor Day and the fall holidays. Definitely keep an eye on my community tab my, and my Instagram for these special events. But like I said, you can use my regular 10% off discount code any time of year for a little bit of savings. After my 10 minute LED treatment is done, I just remove my mask and most times I rinse off the Robust Serum because it's a little bit too dark for my skin tone. You certainly don't have to rinse it off, but I usually do because it leaves a little bit of an orange tint to my skin. Sometimes if I wanna just use it as a purely antioxidant serum, what I'll do is I'll pump a little bit into my moisturizer and get some antioxidant benefits that way. Most days I just rinse the serum off and move on with the rest of my morning skincare. My current morning skincare routine consists of a gentle rinse with lukewarm water followed by a hydrating mist, a gentle refining toner. Currently I'm using the pestle and mortar with AHAs and polyhydroxy acids, and then I just pat this into my skin. Then I follow this with vitamin C. I'm currently using the Curology Custom Formula. This has 5% L-ascorbic acid, kojic acid, and azelaic acid. It's a great complement to my sunscreen. Then I use an anti-hyperpigmentation serum to combat some hyperpigmentation that I've accumulated over the summer. Follow this up with a little bit of moisturizer. I love the peptide night cream and I usually use it as a daytime moisturizer.
followed by my sunscreen, and I'm really loving the La Roche-Posay Cream UV Immune 400 SPF 50. This is a chemical sunscreen, and once it dries down, it leaves absolutely no white cast, and it's super hydrating. The theory behind the boosted benefits of using green tea prior to using your LED red light therapy is that it reduces the production of free radicals. We've all been taught that free radicals aren't good for our skin, but it's a bit nuanced. Actually, some free radicals at the beginning are okay and skin rejuvenating, and then there's kind of some diminishing returns. What the green tea does is reduce the excess formation of the free radicals, which improves the benefits for skin rejuvenation and all the benefits we get from our red light therapy. If you want to listen to a deeper dive on the benefits of LED light therapy and Green Robo's tea, I recommend this interview that Alice Hart Davis did with Bev May over at My Sama Skin Care. They go into a deep dive into the science behind green tea and LED red light therapy. Here's a little excerpt of their interview that I found very interesting. And that happens with red light is because you get a build up of free radicals. So I think okay. that's a really, really important okay. point. So the more the free radicals build up, the more the red light becomes inefficient effectively. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's the, the crux of the matter, really. It's how many free radicals do we have? And it purely depends on the level. If we have low levels, okay. they yeah. act as signaling molecules and they yeah. drive cellular processes. If we have excess free radicals, that's when we get into issues. It provides protection during red light therapy by reducing these free radicals, and it does so by using a very potent antioxidant. We know green tea contains antioxidants, and it has multiple skin benefits. It's been used in skincare for years, but the green robos tea is green robos, which is shown to have a high percentage of plant polyphenols, which is the antioxidant. It's also pharmaceutical grade, so it has very high quality standards, and it's one of the few that I know of that is a pharmaceutical grade green tea. So I feel very comfortable using it during my red light therapy. I feel like it's given a really nice benefit to my treatments, and I highly recommend picking this up, using it along with your LED treatments, it's a very small expense for getting double the amount of benefits from red light therapy. Like I said, just a couple bottles a year should get you through. Just use it three to five times a week and you're good to go. I hope you've enjoyed this short demonstration on how I'm boosting my red light therapy using the Green Robos Press Serum. Definitely subscribe, like, and click the notification bell if you feel like you've gotten some benefit out of today's video and wishing you all a skintastic day. Take good care.